but I feel like a lot of Christians, we, we tend to have a lot of fun. It's just that um, we are very much aware of what is happening in our surroundings. I tend to have now boundaries. How far can I go? And how far is too far? So as Christians, we do have fun. We do like hanging out. We do like, you know, going out, um, having new experiences. We do like trying out new things. We like being adventurous. So my personality never became boring just because I'm a Christian. Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, come okay. Of course, you are welcomed. And of course, my usual peeps, man, I love you. I appreciate you. May God bless you for me. And thank you so much for tuning in, come okay, for sharing feedback, for your comments, you know, for the support, for the love. And let's, you know, let's keep on growing together. But on today's episode, okay, this is a question people have been asking me. And uh, the Sally Imekwa is the Christian lifestyle boring? Like, Kush, we've seen you from the secular side, from being a party girl, being a party animal, to um, you transitioning to this other side. So is the Christian life boring? And I find this very interesting because um, before when I was thinking about this question, I was like, what is boring exactly? Like, what is boring? And I came to realize for most people who party, this is the difference, for most people who party, when you minus the partying, the going to clubs, the um, consuming alcohol, um, they find there's nothing else people can do for fun. But I'm like, as Christians, we have so much, so many things to do for fun. Like personally, with my squad, eh? my squad is my you know my Bible study group. We do so many things. We go for picnics. We go for um, you know Christian events. We um, do cookouts. Um, we go to the park. We go to um, it's called what we do bowling. Um, we are planning on traveling. Like there are just so many things we get to do. So the only difference between someone like I and someone like you who's partying, it's I no longer go to clubs to you know to uh, to spend money. <laughs> to spend money and to buy alcohol and to get high so that's just minus everything else that i do but i feel like a lot of christians we, we tend to have a lot of fun it's just that um we are very much aware of what is happening in our surroundings the same way we get to because i do have friends who are not um in the faith as well and sometimes you know they get to invite you to some of their things events and all of that and uh, when they get to go to such events what i do is I, I respect where they at um, in their lives. And, uh, I, you know, I'm like, you know, um, someday God is going to meet you somewhere and, you know, you'll get to know truth. But at the same time, um, I tend to have now boundaries. How far can I go and how far is too far? So as Christians, we do have fun. We do like hanging out. We do like, you know, going out, um, having new experiences. We do like trying out new things. We like being adventurous. So my personality never became boring just because I'm a Christian. The only thing that changed is my priorities. There are places I know I don't need to be there. I don't need to go there because there's nothing that I'm going to get. And uh, um, also, um, the more you get to walk with Christ, uh, the Holy Spirit is going to help you and uh, reveal to you the things which you should stop doing and the things which you should be doing so it becomes very different and uh, like when it comes to in terms of you know movies and shows i get to watch so i tend to you know mix and uh, i will didn't say mix and match because it's not clothes but i tend to um watch a lot of shows but i don't know there's something about the holy spirit and uh, there's a way, um, as you're walking with Christ, as you're closer to Christ, when you're looking at, like nowadays when I'm looking at shows and movies, I don't look at them the same way I used to look at them before. So I tend to question a lot of the things which I tend to see. And I try to look for the, um, the reason behind why everything is happening the way it's happening and try to find um, an understanding that... Um, what is this teaching me? What is this showing me about life, about humanity, about choices, about decisions, about... Because um, most of the time, all of these shows and movies you get to watch, there are things which are actually happening in people's lives. So sometimes, um, for me, I take those, um, those times as learning moments. So yes, I do enjoy movies, but also I'm very... Um, I'm also very um, kind of picky with whatever I get to watch. 
so sometimes you might be watching something and this thing which by the way if you're working with christ the, the holy spirit will be convicting you there are things you can try and watch like this hey unasketu holy spirit nakuliza now what are you watching why are you watching what are these what are you feeding yourself and this thing they say you become what you're watching you become what you feed yourself there's so many things i didn't know i got influenced to start doing to start becoming because because of the things i was watching but need to clean your bag this happens because of the things i was watching yeah? and most of the times we don't realize it until it's very late because when you start questioning the why behind why am i like this why have I normalized this in my life when I can't realize it's from the influences that you've had so as christians we like having fun but we are more we are more careful about the spaces we get into we are more intentional about the kind of fun we want to have so um because you see we have we are very aware we are not just um ourselves so even for me the holy spirit is part of me and Christ is someone I'm walking with and is always where I'm at. So even right now I know Christ is over here. So I'm very intentional with what I get to do, what I get to see. It's the same way when people ask um how do I feel about, you know, Christians who are cursing, who are still insulting people, who are still treating people, I don't know badly and all of that. I'm like then you're not walking close enough with Christ. Um not the one to judge, but um when you're walking with Christ there are things which you won't be able to do. There are days by the way I'm always like I want to post like a sex picture on social media. And the Holy Spirit is there telling me, like, you see, you're looking at things which you used to think they're normal, but now you're looking at things and then you're like, hey, that slit is too much. So you have a sexy picture, but that sex pic sexy picture is just going to stay in your gallery because the Holy Spirit is not allowing you and giving you the peace to post it. Because the question is, why? Why do you feel like you have to post that? What are you trying? What message are you trying to portray? So who are you trying to get to give you likes? so um it becomes bigger than you but i believe anytime the holy spirit is around it's going to convict you when you're going to sin when you're going to spaces which you you are not supposed to go to because do remember the flesh wants whatever it wants and the flesh wants a lot of things but the flesh and the spirit they're two different things that's why we are told we need to fight against the flesh and to suppress the flesh through you know things like fasting and a lot of prayers but a lot of fasting for you to suppress the flesh so um just to answer the question boring depends with what to you is boring because i feel like not everyone um who's a we have so many people who are not christians as well and they don't go out to clubs so they still have fun so we don't necessarily have a difference but the difference is we tend to be more intentional about the spaces we are going into and how we behave in the spaces we've gone into and how we represent christ in the spaces we go into so we are open to having fun but you do understand, you know, it's not everywhere you go and find Jesus music. You always go to some places and find secular music. And what can you do? You can't go and tour our system Zima and Maliuho. And it's a place maybe you're going to have ice cream. Maybe you're going to have pizza or something. And it's secular music. What can you do? You just don't let the music get into your spirit. Like it's a kuna vitu unaskianga lakini unacho unaskia zikienda. But you don't... Um, you don't allow it to affect you as a person and how you behave. You see the way they say music is emotional. And sometimes you can hear something, then you start feeling, eh, mwili naskia. So it's just being more intentional with how we, we receive what, uh, how we receive the environments we are in. I think, I hope that does make sense. But yeah, so we do have fun. I love doing a lot of things. I'm looking forward to experimenting and trying out a lot of things in this my life. So definitely it's not boring to become a Christian. Like I said, we are not about religion. Religion is what can make you not be or live a full life in Christ. But Christ is after a relationship with him. Then as you are in a relationship with him, he's going to be convicting you of the do's and don'ts and the no's and nevers and the go and stop and the get up, get out of there and, uh, you know, keep going. You get what I'm saying? So it's going to help you. But it's not going to be at one day you're waking up and everything you're doing, you stop. It's going to be pole, 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 but you just can't give up on the walk. So you need to keep on walking with Christ so that he can um, help you shed off the things which are not of him and embrace the things which are of him. So I think that answers the question. Um, yes, we do have a lot of fun, a lot. And stay tuned. Of course, you know, through the vlogs, you'll be seeing a lot of the things I get to do for fun with my friends. And uh, y'all can try them out and share with me. Let me know. 
But anyway, God bless y'all. I'm going to see you in the next video. Bye-bye.